Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how you can mitigate an error message when you try to build a Docker image and the error message goes like this, no permission to read from .bash history. So let me demonstrate to you the error here. Um, so I've got uh, I've got a Linux uh, running uh, on a virtual machine somewhere else. So I'm going to SSH into that machine there and put a proper credential to login. So now I'm SSH into that machine. I'm running Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And uh, in order to run a sudo, uh, sorry, Docker file, you're going to have to go in as a super user. And you can see it changes from green to white, right? So now if I try to, try to run a Docker build, you know, let me clear this guy up here so that the command can go away at top there. If I go Docker build, minus t cs is your image name followed by dot indicating i'm going to use the docker file in the same directory you can see i'm trying to use this docker file here so if i go docker build minus t image name followed by period hit enter what it does is that uh, it gives an error like that if you're having this error i'll show you how you can resolve this error right now so uh, simply what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go one directory below you're still logging as a super uh, super user right now right so and you go ls just to show you where you're at you go one directory below and then uh, you're gonna have to uh, make directory a brand new directory called something else right and you go ls you will see two directory one that you just created another one is pre-existing so you're gonna have to copy the docker file from that uh, previous directory into in here so the way to do it but before that let's go inside that directory here now you're into the sign it directory to copy that docker file from this directory into here the command would be cp uh, go one directory below with double period followed by n and the file name that you want to copy and do a period which means on the same directory as sign it hit enter and you can see that you have a docker file in this directory now Okay, with that all being said, I'll roll, up, roll this up a bit here. Now we're ready to do docker build minus t, give it an image name dot c, uh, cs, or it could be anything, right? Uh, this is a, just an image name. Anything, if I can spell it, period, to use the docker file. And this time around, when you hit enter, you can see that the docker file starts, the docker starts creating images. So uh, the way to resolve this would be create a brand new directory and put a docker file in there. This is a quick way to do it. Anyway, if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Other than that, you have an awesome day. Bye now.